Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak and today I'm going to talk about saving and presenting your work. This is a really important thing and you need to understand how to work with file types if you want to save your work for web or if you want to save it for print. So I will show you this with the example that we had in a previous tutorial with this tilt shift effect. If I want to save this for web, then I would go to file, save for web and devices. Now in this dialog box, you can choose which file type you would like to use on the web. These are all compressed file formats and they can't save the layers. JPEG is a really good file format but it can't save transparency if you need transparency as well you should choose png you can also use gif if you have an illustration and not a photograph but for photographs it's always better you to use jpeg and you can set up the quality here and you can also see the compressed file size at the bottom this is now a 174 kilobyte JPEG file, but if I change the quality to low, I can get a 54 kilobyte size. But you will always see the difference in quality in the preview here. So if I change it back to maximum, this is a much better quality. I can zoom a little bit even closer. And if I change it back to low, you see the difference, there's a pixelation in the image. So this is low JPEG quality and this is the highest quality. You can also change the size of the image that you would like to save for web here. If I would like to turn this into a thumbnail, for example, I can change the width to 400, for example, and we can quickly see the size of the image that we can save out. And of course, it will affect the file size as well. So now I will change this back to high, the quality to high, and we have a much smaller sized image. Then the file size is really small. It's only 18 kilobytes now. I can save this image out and then continue working with the original image. Whenever you make changes to a photograph, always make sure that you save your PSD file because that is the file that can save all your layers and everything that you apply like smart filters or masks. But you don't need to send the PSD file most of the times to your client. The PSD file is the work file. So if you go to file save as here you can find under the format the first option is the Photoshop file which is the PSD file format. If you want to save this for print, you can go to files and choose save as and here from the formats choose Photoshop PDF. When you click on save, you will get the save Adobe PDF dialog box and here you can set up the compatibility, standards, compression, output for color conversion and even security to restrict the opening of the file or the editing and printing by using passwords. PDF is the standard for printing, while JPEG and PNG and GIF file formats are the standards for web design. You can also use Bridge to create contact sheets or even flash web galleries. So I now switch back to Bridge by clicking on the BR icon here on the top and I will select some images. I will select these four images here and I go to the output view in Bridge, the output workspace. And here I can choose the PDF or the web gallery option. I will first start with PDF and I will refresh the preview. And you will see that Bridge can quickly create a PDF with the selected images on one page and even put the names under the images. You can fully customize the contact sheet, how many images you would like to see on one page, what kind of page size you would like to use, and even here you can add the password for the PDF. And when you are ready with the setup, you can click on save at the bottom to save it out. 
The other option what you have is the web gallery. Now I select that and I click again on refresh preview and Bridge can save out a completely flash based web gallery that you can deploy to your server and show your work in a nice and neat flash web gallery. So now you can see we created quickly a gallery and here on the left we can choose between images there's even a nice fade transition between the images. We see the file names at the bottom and we can even play a slideshow for the images. Of course you can change all these options on the top by using the site info and all the settings here on the right. And when you are ready with your gallery, you can even upload the gallery to your server directly from Bridge by putting in the address of your FTP server, the username and the password. Creating a web gallery or a contact sheet is a really good way to interact and to show your work to your customers and it takes nearly no time at all to set this up. So make sure that you spend time not only on the design itself but also on how to present it to your customers. Believe me, it's worth the time because I think everyone wants to impress their customer. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time in the last episode of this series where I will show you how to do magic in Photoshop.